Now let's talk about point trackers themselves, which are often the most frustrating and maybe misunderstood thing for new users. A tracking box is actually made up of two boxes. The inner box is where you'll place the tracker and it tells After Effects exactly what to track. The outer box defines a search area around that point. So for example, if your footage starts moving, the outer box helps After Effects keep the inner box locked onto the correct spot, telling it where to look in each new frame, essentially giving it a boundary to search within for any shifts of position. Now, as is often the case with most video technology, more data is often a good thing. So you may be tempted to expand these boxes in order to expand the tracking area. While this does technically increase the data being processed, it also makes the tracking far more resource intensive, meaning it will take significantly longer to render. So for example, look at the processing difference between a smaller box and a larger one. In most cases, using a smaller tracking point will actually lead to better results and a reduced processing load.